Vikash Bhattacharya, who's slamming the TMC, is called Mamta, a quote unquote stooge of the BJP. He said she's an agent of the BJP. He's added sooner that the Congress High Command realizes that, the better for them. But remember, some of the context that is important here is that the left historically has had a enmity with the TMC. So take these comments in that context. Adir Ranjan Chaudhary has taken a stand. He said, uh, they should understand this will not affect the India Alliance. So this is more of what that left leader has said. Take a look at that statement and then we'll connect again with reporters. Now Komta has, Mamta Banerjee has said she's not going to go with the Congress in Bengal. What's your reaction to that? Vikash Ranjan Bhattacharya, MP of, MP of CPIM. It was a fait accompli from the day one when this India block meeting was held. I had made my point very clear that the first person who will defect from India is Mamta. Mamta is really stews of BJP and RSS. You just study her career graph, you will find she had never taken any ideological stand against the BJP and RSS. Therefore, Mamta is the natural ally of BJP. She will continue to remain with BJP, but in this process, her only attempt is to see that the left organization and left parties cannot get back its hold in Bengal. Adhir Choudhury probably is the uh, person who has some sense of ground reality. Therefore, he has taken one stand. I am neither there here or not there to support this or to oppose this. But of course, the uh, Congress central leadership would definitely try to persuade all the parties to get united against BJP. But they will immediately understand after this so-called declaration of Mamta that Mamta is with BJP and she will walk along with BJP and she will die along with BJP. Okay, let's uh, go over to our colleague Kamalika to understand more. Kamalika, we're coming to you for the first time in the show. So we're going to ask you for some greater context here. In many ways, these comments coming in from the left aren't surprising. Their enmity with the TMC is, is well known. Can you tell our audiences, though, more about how the left has played into this TMC, BG, uh, this TMC Congress story over the last few months? Hello? Yes, Kamalika, we can hear you. Please go ahead. It's a picture. Kamalika, can you tell us a little bit more about how the left has played into the Hello? TMC Congress story? Okay, I think we have an unstable connection with my colleague. We'll try to re-establish it. Hi. Kamalika, are you able to hear us? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kamalika can, you, Kamalika, can you tell us a little bit more about the left's role since this TMC Congress conversation has started over the last few months in the INDIA picture, the left's role here? Yes, the left is uh, totally with the Congress, you know, the understanding between Adi Chaudhary and Mohammed Salim is there. From 2016, the left and Congress have been together fighting against Mamata Banerjee. And 2021 also in the assembly polls, we have seen left and Congress going together. Though that had not given them any electoral benefit, the Congress has got only one seat in assembly and left zero. But the compatibility of left and Congress is more than uh, there is compatibility between Congress and TMC. Now, yesterday, Mohammed Salim told us that they Nayatra and like they have supported it in Assam. But provided uh, this Congress party goes, uh, they, they are ready to go with any party. And also, the party Congress does not go with uh, Trinamool Congress. Okay. Kamalika, unfortunately, we're not being able to hear you very clearly. Let's go back to our colleague Pallavi for more context on this story. Pallavi, we know what both sides have had to say. The, the, the Congress says that the TMC is not giving it enough seats off the 42. Uh, the Congress says they're limiting us to just two seats. The TMC says your performance doesn't warrant more seats. Now, the Congress has always said this is a bigger BJP versus Congress story, a national story. Has the TMC never bought into that, Pallavi, according to you? See, the TMC uh, uh, does have that grudge against the Congress party as far as the state level is concerned. But that is something which they feel that is a water which has flown under the bridge, uh, you know, if the Congress chose to go along with left. But they still decided to be very much a part of the India Front Alliance. But the only demand which is consistently and something which Mamta Banerjee has never budged from is the fact that 
the Congress party must understand the reality and the reality is very simple that left is not anymore a successful alliance partner to have and second if you go by winnability then the Congress party must ensure that it does not ask for more than Malda or Mushidabad or should not ask for more than what it it is actually capable of winning because anything beyond that will just end up helping the BJP uh, the Congress of course because of its own political compulsion and more than a Congress frankly speaking Toya it's the political compulsion